Well, Blue Jays fans, the Blue Jays sweep the Miami Marlins in a two-game series. It's whatever, you know. We beat the Marlins, whatever. But, yeah, a really good series by the Toronto Blue Jays against the Miami Marlins. A short series before they get a four-game series starting very soon against the Baltimore Orioles. And a 3-1 win. A really big 3-1 win for the Blue Jays. Four-game win streak for the boys. What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Carso. Welcome back to another video. As I just said, the Blue Jays beat the Miami Marlins 3-1. And let's head into the top of the first, where Teoscar Hernandez doubles to right, but Shet scores on the play. Guerrero Jr. moves up to third. And the Jays in the top of the first with the one-zip lead. But George Springer getting his first RBI since returning with the Blue Jays. He grounds out to the first baseman, Aguilar. And Guerrero Jr. will score on the play, making it 2 0 in the top of the first. Top of the fifth inning, and Bo Bichette singles to left. Marcus Simeon scores on the play, making it three runs for the Blue Jays, and they have a 3 0 lead. In the bottom of the sixth, Marte homers to left on a 2 1 count. That is a first run for the Miami Marlins of the night. The only run they'll get on the night. And the Jays walk away with this one. 3-1. to one. Absolute phenomenal performance by Robbie Ray. 5-3 and three on the season now. Six innings pitch, six strikeouts, one earned run, one base on ball. Robbie Ray has been one of our best pitchers this year, and we already know that. Trevor Rogers, he gets the loss today. He was 7-3 and three getting into this game. Going into this game, he was 7-3. and three. Now he's 7-4, and four. five innings pitched, three earned runs. Two base on balls and six strikeouts. So pretty good numbers compared to Robbie Ray. But couldn't get it done at the end of the day. Jordan Romano getting his fifth save of the season. Jordan Romano doing a really good job in the bullpen for the Blue Jays. Tim Meza. How about Tim Meza? He had an absolute gorgeous inning in the seventh. Had a record breaker seventh inning for Tim Meza. Tyler Chatwood did really well as well. Like These, these, these pitchers are doing phenomenal stuff right now. They've been unbelievable. So, ladies and gents, that's really it. That's the only thing I want to share today. The Blue Jays will take on the Baltimore Orioles at 7.07 today. Dan Kreimer, who is 0-6 on the season, a 6.20 ERA. Not looking good for him. But Anthony Kay, he's 0-2 on the season, and he's going to start today, and he has a 6.43. So, two pitchers who are not performing considerably well today. But, you know what? They're going to get the start. They're going to get the start. We're going to see what these two guys can do for the Blue Jays and the Orioles. That will kick off at 7 tonight. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to hit, turn on your post notifications to get notified. When these videos do come out, one more thing. Please, please, please make sure to share this video with friends and family. It helps me out a lot, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.